Okay, reapings here, everybody. Welcome back to Serious Creepers Avengers in Sith Tech Ages. I was just trying to debate what I want to do today, and I think I kind of want to work on some more astro sorcery stuff, so we shall do this. I just went outside to mine a bunch of iron, so we got some again, and I also... I was using that silk touch pick we got from the Twilight Forest, this one here. And apparently if you do use that on the hematite ore, you get vanilla iron ore. I think it's used for some things later. If you look this up, uh, for example, there is some... Um, we can turn this into iron ingots. We can also use this later to make more constellation papers once we have the iridescent table, which is the last tier in this whole thing. How else can we do this again? Oh, we have to do the ritual, right? Ugh. Ugh. Okay. May have to, may have to get more of those soon. I don't know how much how much uh, aquamarine we have left. We shall look in a uh, check in a bit. But I also started work on the base finally. I just started to go, you know, I decided to go uh, start on it because waiting for that update so I can use chisel and stuff is, it might just take forever. So figured I may as well, you know, get some work done. Not too much yet, but ooh, it actually looks cool when you get through it from the, uh, <laughs> from the forest. I got like almost a quarter done of the top, right? This is just the uh, outside. It's not even like a full quarter yet, but um, that's kind of the design I want to go with. And I know it's dark right now. Let me just shoot some of these lights against our temple. Uh, hello, lights. Do you want to, do you maybe want to pop up? Thank you. It is nighttime, but I'm going to leave it nighttime in case we need it. I think we're going to need it soon. Uh, but yeah, so it's going to be, you know, like a ziggurat using the between stone uh, blocks. I'm using the between stone stuff outside, crack in the middle. Uh, all my stuff here is in the way. And then we have like this main entrance up here later, the stairs going up. And then we have like uh, three level different levels here. This is going to be the main level up here. And then there's going to be a big building on top as well. And I'm thinking some sort of elevator maybe going down. Maybe we used to be better with mods elevator for this. We don't have a good way of making clocks yet, I don't think. Well, we kind of do. I should be fine. We should be able to do this. But at the beginning, we may just use a ladder. I'm not quite sure. And then the actual stuff is going to be underground. And I'm guessing there's going to be like a huge dugout uh, cave down there or room or whatever you want to call it. Maybe with the blood altar in the center as like a centerpiece or maybe slightly to the side so that we can have the elevator go down and not just, you know, be directly um, uh, be directly in it. I was actually thinking maybe it would be useful to, to do this, to use this area that's already dug out as part of the underground. It's not as deep as I want it to be though, but it could be a start, right? And just cover up the rest we don't want to be open. Because it kind of would fit. The center of the base is like roughly like there-ish, where I'm pointing at the rock. So if you have the elevator go down, it could just come in at the side of the of the base. And then it opens up into this direction, like this big circle, right? And then in the center here would be the blood altar. Just lower than what it, this is right now. Um, but yeah, this is almost a quarter. You can see these blocks. So like... It starts there, it goes to here, then there's gonna be maybe another staircase or something else here. Maybe I put like a pond there or something. Oh, zombies and stuff coming. And then it keeps going up to this block there, and then that goes over to... Uh, there should be a cobblestone. I think I may have removed this cobblestone till roughly here-ish or something is the next corner. So that's how big it's gonna be, and then something on top. So it should be kinda cool, but it's gonna take me a while. It's gonna, you know, it's the process I'm gonna have to work on over time, unfortunately. But hey, that's okay, that's fun. It's something I can do at night or something when I just watch YouTube, you know, just build some. So yeah. But let's take a look at what we wanna do, all these mobs coming now, for Astro Sorcery. I wanna get a bit more into it. I know we still have to like fight the Naga and stuff to actually make the progression there and the between, uh, in the Trial Forest, but that can wait. I don't wanna deal with this right now. Oh, and also I think I'm gonna either move this, no, probably not move it, but like build, oh my god, build like a super tiny shrine around here too, take out this tree, then have some like between stone blocks there, or maybe just uh, cobblestone or something, or maybe, maybe marble, or limestone, I don't know, something, I'll, I'll find something, <laughs> that looks good, you know. So I think one thing I, I've been like trying to figure out is, you know, where to build our Astro Sorcery stuff. Because last time we figured out that up here we didn't have enough starlight to do anything really, except for the basic stuff. Um, oh yeah, and I was working on something in two, I'll talk in a second. 
so, but I think we can do this. Like I was looking at how big these structures are. They're pretty big. There's some that are like 19 by 19 blocks big. Um, the last crafting table is like 11 by 11. So they're pretty, pretty big. You need a lot of space. But looking around here at the top of our mountain, we do have space. It just doesn't look like it maybe because of all the trees and stuff, right? But this is a big area here. It even goes further out this way a little bit, right? Like it's sort of like a cliff here, I guess. And so I think I'm just going to go ahead and take out a bunch of these trees to see how much room we actually have. And we're going to build this up here. Now, we didn't have that starlight that we had over there in the other base, but there's a way to get this over here, I think. There's a couple of ways to do it. We can make these, like, uh, starlight things, these, like, uh, lenses, I think, to transport starlight over here. I think. that I'm not 100% sure if this one works with that, like, star field that's on the ground. Or if this only works with these, like, floating crystals that you usually find in temples. Uh, but the one thing we can do for sure... Ooh, scrolling is so annoying in this. Is... I think it's in here. Yeah. The spectral relay. Uh, this little device, and it needs, like, a little structure, too. Just a 3 by 3 by 2 It also focuses starlight. You don't need to place this in any special spot. It just needs to be near your altar, and it will provide more light to your altar. So we can... We can use it as well, so that's something I'll probably do, and I should get rid of this soon, too. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's probably what we're going to work on first, but looking at the recipe, it requires one of those lenses again, which is, you know, that aquamarine, and it needs a second lens inside as well, and then gold, marble, and stuff. So let's maybe see if we can do this super fast before time runs out. Uh, needs this marble. Is it a special marble? It's the pillar. Okay, we can make this and wood and then some gold nuggets. Okay. I'm making gold nuggets and it sucks. I wish we had a better way to do this. Oh my god. How does it even work? Ah, this stupid creeper. Why did you have to be there while I was bouncing around in my shoes and you broke that portal? Oh, no. I don't think there's a way to fix these. Ugh. Ugh. All right, we have enough starlight to make these right now, despite it being daytime over at the other altar. I actually load this again because I was sick of like trying to jump up there, <laughs> but it seems fine for what we need. So I think I'm going to make four of these, uh, and then we have four lenses here that we need to put into these, so it should be fine. Okay, and now we're going to take down this entire thing again. Alright, I just dug out a few trees here, or cut down rather. Didn't really dig them out, do it, did I? Uh, and yeah, like I said, we have some room that we can mess with over here too. I think this should be pretty cool. Oh no, 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 I saw you. Not again. <laughs> God damn it, man. Why are they so sneaky today? Well, I guess it's, you know, it's a thing. They're supposed to be sneaky. Ah, I'll fix that another time. Can't be bothered right now. Uh, so sad that one of the tree sides got destroyed there. But it's okay, we'll deal with it. See, this is a problem with, like, messing with Astro Sorcery at night. <laughs> so many mobs. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, uh, we could do one of two things. For a pass. If we come up here, we can have a pass going around this side, around the tree down here to our area or maybe we could have a tunnel underneath the tree that might be kind of cool too so we come out like here maybe you know and it like does a little bit of a curve and goes underneath the tree and comes out like here or here that might be kind of cool so let's assume that either of those things could happen if there was a pass here you would want a little bit of room right for stuff to happen and then we start building here so we need a 11 by 11 area for the altar and then we can expand into other directions from this. So let's say we start here. This is one corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, what? Yes. Is that wait? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, okay. I thought it would might be a little bit bigger actually. That's good. So this is the structure. I thought it was a creeper. Structure we need for the crafting, for the biggest crafting table later on. The current one we have is nine by nine. And height-wise, I do like uh, elevations in buildings, so it's cool that this goes up and down here. I think we just leave it as it is. Well, for the most part, 
we're gonna raise this a little bit, I think, and you know, just just you know, take how it is and try to adjust our building to nature. I think that always looks nicer than trying to flatten out everything. So we probably flatten out this area though, like this a little bit, but I'm thinking the altar could start. Let's actually find the center here. If we just go diagonal, this is the center, right? Yeah. So if we take this as the floor, we start here. Okay, so we're just gonna rebuild our other altar and we see how much starlight we have here. And then uh, without the re uh, relays, and then we're gonna put down the relays and see how much that increases it by. And yes, by now I totally know how to build this thing without looking it up. That is the saddest amount of starlight I've ever seen. <laughs> but it is daytime too, so we're a little bit spoiled from the other stuff. That is without the relays though, so let's go make the relays. Okay, so we need a little bit more sooty marble here. And some other marble. Uh, I think I should just have the stuff I need. We could just chisel it. And so you can see in the book here, right? It requires a three by three area. You can kind of share these corners too. So you could put, uh, you can use these three blocks for the next um, relay. So you could like, you know, only like, you have to only place like two more rows of this stuff here. And then the sooty marble would be like uh, here, you know, was the next relay. So you could do that too. I don't know. I'm not quite sure where I want to put mine, because again, this is gonna expand, right, later on. It would be kind of cool, maybe if they're like on top of these things or something, and I'm pointing down, although I don't know. Oh no, I think they need to be, uh, I don't know if they need line of sight. It also says placing too many relays close to each other will result in one cannibalizing the others. So maybe we should just put one in each corner, you know, at least for now. Again, we can move things, it's not final. We can do whatever we want. So, uh, so which one? I keep forgetting for this one. I haven't built this structure at all. This is, I've never actually built this one. I just read this here. So that's marble arch and chiseled. Okay, so I'll just do half a stack of each. And then, so this one was here, I think, the other one in the corner, right? And then the sooty marble in the center. So it's like this. And I guess we put it down now. I'm gonna wait until we place all of these and then we activate them and see how good they are. Or how bad. All right, so it should be all four. Now let's look at this again. Right now we have zero starlight, so let's see how much this increases by. If you put one in, you can see now starlight floating over to our altar. And look at that, it already increases by that much, right? So let's use the second one. And third one. Very nice, spider coming. Oh man. And fourth one, look at that. So that's pretty, that's better than what we had over there inside the starlight during the day. Of course, like at night or something would be, you know, much better. Plus over there with those relays, it would be amazing too. But again, we want to build it over here. So this is pretty good. I think at nighttime, this is quite a lot. And again, we can bring the starlight from over there over to here as well if you wanted to. Now you might wonder what this is here. You saw it at the beginning of the episode. So these are rock crystals and I took some that had good uh, or decent cut and purity and I tossed them into liquid starlight. Now what happens if you toss them into liquid starlight is after a while it consumes the source block and it increases in size. So this one actually went up to size 400. You can see it's yellow, that means this is the max. Later on we can make these blue crystals that have a max of 900, so that's a lot better. Um, and it has a purity of 75, so that's pretty nice, and a cutting of 30%. And this one is 74 in almost 30 and this is 48 in normal 30 or in 30 yeah so that's not those are not terrible now i'm just gonna keep doing this until those two are also uh pretty much at the max this is the max one right now right yeah and so what what we want to do now is make this grindstone it's pretty easy it's just wood sticks and a marble uh i i wonder did i make this i don't think i made this before i for some reason i have a feeling i made this already but I don't think I actually did. Uh, do we have planks on us? We should have planks because I used them in one of the craftings. Yeah, there we go. And a couple of sticks. And this is just a normal recipe, right? No, this is a starlight recipe too. So let's go. And by the way, these crystals don't despawn. So you don't have to worry about like them despawning after five minutes. They'll just stick around. So no worries there. Okay. So we can use any marble, I believe. And then this. There we go. Take our wand, craft up the thing, 
there we go. And what we can do with this little grindstone, well, it can do a few things. Like you could uh, you could try to grind down ores, for example, to get uh, two out of it or something. But what we actually want to do with this is now take this crystal we have and we want to increase the cutting on it to a higher number. And this one just finished. So this one went up to 400 as well. And this one should probably... No, this one isn't. Okay, so we're going to do this one again. Always make sure you toss the right one. There we go. So we want to get the cutting up and you do this by putting these things in there. Now you can see this one is 29% cutting, size 400. I put this in there, take this one away and then you right click. Every time you right click it cuts it and it reduces the size but increases the cutting. Now you got to be careful to not break them, right? So take them out once in a while. So you just took almost 100 off but increased the cutting to 45%. So you want to do this a couple of times, not too much. If you do too much it breaks, the size goes down. 179 is pretty close to breaking, but we can probably do one, two, three, four. Sometimes I'm a little bit pushy with this and risky. 90% uh, cutting. That might be 100, almost. Ah, 70. I'm going to increase this. I don't want to risk it. Um, and then, you know, you just take your bucket again and you increase the size again by leaving it in the, in the starlight. I'm going to do this one too a few times. Okay, so this is at 100% cutting now, awesome. And we wanna increase the size again. Now, the why I'm doing this is because we wanna make tools out of this. These star, um, or these crystal tools from Astro Source, are actually really good. If you look at the pickaxe, right? Now this one has like a huge size there. Um, it, it requires three of these crystals, right? Can also use the blue ones later to make even a better one. Uh, and then, depending on the size, I guess looking here is better. Depending on the size and cutting, it gets like different uh, different attributes. The size is kind of the durability with these tools. They don't break on their own, like they don't have a durability bar. They instead they use up the the the, the size, and then you if they you know if they're small and so damn it, that was too much really. See, you gotta be careful. <laughs> I was too greedy. Uh, this one's pretty good too. If you like, sorry, that was wrong. If you mine with these tools the cutting goes down instead of like the durability. They become dull, they become slow, they become weak, depending on what it is, right? The sword would become weaker. Uh, and then you have to like grind them in the grindstone again, which reduces the size of it again. And you can increase their size as well by, you know, doing the same thing by tossing stuff in there. So you can do the same process. Um, and that's kind of how you like keep them repaired and going and stuff but they're really good tools if you look at the pick this one has like a mining speed of 20 max I th but that's i think is only if you get like the the best quality or something out of it i'm not quite sure but in general they're pretty good i i used them before and they were really nice they're also very enchantable but we don't have enchanting tables so that's uh no use to us right now i guess and you want to increase the size again because once you make the tool the size it has is the max size it can get. So if it's like a size of 200, it can never be more than 200, I believe. So like even if you leave it in liquid starlight, the size won't increase for that particular item. So you want to craft them with the biggest crystals you have. And I think the purity in this case only determines how quickly the cutting goes down or something. I'm not entirely sure what the purity has to do with the tools. Oh yeah, look at nighttime, it's completely full. So yay! We don't need the starlight field right now. Whoa, a normal spider. Nice. All right, I just got the last one here. So all three are like 100% cutting, 100% purity. Now I want to quickly check if we can do this. Hopefully we don't need too much starlight because it is just about to get daytime. There it is. Now we don't see what it's going to get until we do it. You know what? It's the start process. Stop! Oh my god. <laughs> that was crazy, man. <sighs> okay, there it is. Boom! Alright, let's see what we got here. Look, mining speed 20, size 1200. Now this the size is actually not um the size is actually not yellow, so I wonder if you can increase it even more. It is 1200 because we use three 400 ones. I don't know if that just oh that should probably just means because he can use these 900 ones. He can get it up to 27. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I don't think like tossing this into Starlight right now would increase it, but let's maybe have a quick look how fast this pick is. All right, a couple of cobblestone. Let's see. 
Uh, yep, it's pretty decent. Now, is it actually much faster? It doesn't feel that, like, like it would be 20. Oh, no, it does. Look at this. This is our normal pick. Noise! Awesome. Oh, God, again? Not today, Creeper. Well, even though you did already twice, but not this time, Creeper. <laughs> So the next thing I want to do is actually upgrade our altar. They, we currently have the Starlight -like Crafting Altar, this guy, right? The next tier is the Celestial Altar, because uh, we need it for a couple of things that we can make here. Awesome stuff. So to get this though, we need two cave illuminators, which we have. We need to get a Firefly Jar, which we can make and also easily find in the tri uh, Forest. Iron, what we have. We need to find Life Root. God damn, man. Okay, he's... He's not... Seeing me though, life root, and we need some maze bricks. So, not difficult stuff to get. I just need to go back into the twilight forest and grab these things. So, let me go do that. All right, so having some trouble finding the life root. Uh, I've been through a couple of underground areas, but I can't find anything. So, I'm wondering if they have to be uh, within these like burrows. So, I'm just oh, okay, that burned down. So I'm just gonna put down a cave illuminator here. It's a small barrel, so it shouldn't be, shouldn't take too long. But basically, this one will now like light up the caves below us slowly over time. So after a while, I can just go check, and it should be all lit up and make this a little bit easier for me to go mine. Ah, look at this. This is doing a good job already. This is pretty lit up already. Unless this is one that Morad already mined out. These boots are mine! Uh, there's still a bunch of ore still, but yeah, this actually may already be, have been looted. Hey, I finally found some underneath in this cave. That took a while. How much did we get out of this? Is it just one? Oh, the second one. Awesome. Oh, a couple. Okay. Let's take this. So this is just another cave. So it's just luck. They're just pretty rare. But we only need two. All right. We should have all the things we need now. Just make one of those. I could have grabbed these from the, um, you know, Trial Forest too, but... I figured I'd just make it because I was right there. Okay, now we need the iron, which, uh, where is it? Oh, we had chiseled maystone. We had, <laughs> actually, no, we don't have all of them. There's a, there's one, to oh, there it goes. Damn it. I already had those, so I didn't even have to get those. Well, that's fun. It's okay. So let's double check Astro Sorcery. So we should have it all right. Uh, True Cave Illuminator, this, this, this. Yes, okay. So let's go see if we can make this. I don't know what time it is currently. It is daytime. Shoot. Is it like just daytime? Kinda. Oh, there goes my blood lamp thing. I just accidentally shot. That's kind of funny. Well, maybe we don't need that much starlight. Let's just see. All right, and boom. Ah, not quite enough. But hey, again, it is daytime right now, right? And look how much starlight we have just from this. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna wait till night and then we do this. All right, almost there. I just saw it grow because it is getting nighttime. There it is, awesome. Now we can make it. Let's do it. Ooh, this is really fancy, isn't it? A little bit fancier than last time. That's for sure. Oh, I guess it stopped. <laughs> it had a fanciness to it for a little bit there. There we go. Nice. It's emitting some starlight. And then we also need to change up this structure again. And I'll probably have to move our little uh, collectors there as well. Just move them out by one rock or so. Probably should have done it right away. But there it is. The upgraded one. And now we also learned about constellations. So if you look in the book, there's a new entry here with all kinds of new things. I have never dabbled into these. There's a couple of things I have never touched with uh, Astro Sorcery. Um, I had my like Astro Sorcery series, but I didn't do it for too long. Like I have never done these rituals. Uh, I have done the gateway. I've never, I've done the attunements a little bit too. But uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff we still have to discover. But now if you look, you know, it's red. So we have to go back one tap again and go to, uh, where is it now? Oh no, it is at humans. Uh, the, down there. So we need to build this little structure here. So it is 11 by 5 by 11. So not terrible. Just going to take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and build this. Now oh, it looks like one of the constellations we have is currently in the sky. So we can... Oh, keep doing that. We can do this. So it should be... Ugh. Is this going to work? I'm not sure. Might have to redo this. This connects to here, I think, and then like this, right? 
Now I have to do it again. <laughs> I messed up that one line. There we go. We learned Evitas. And now if you look in our book under constellations, we have more information about this now because we drew this. So being exposed to focused light of this constellation, flowers and plants close to the source are flourishing and grow much faster. Very cool. Something we should keep in mind. And you can see during which moon phases this one shows up. And I don't know if this is going to work with my custom sky box. I don't think it is, but normally you can see them in the sky. Let me get a little bit higher. Oh, of course, I land on that one spot with the stupid Spider-Man. Oh, man. These are driving me crazy. You don't know, even know. I have to deal with them so often. Uh, yeah, I don't see it. I think because I have a custom skybox, I don't see it. So if that's something we need to see eventually in the sky, like you can actually see the constellations up there then, then I'll just disable the skybox again. But for now, that's fine. Well, there we go. Structure is complete. And it turns out we didn't actually have to move these. Because while it is 11 by 11, it has a little dip on the side like this. So they actually still fit right in there because the old altar was over here as well. So that's cool. They're still the same size. Uh, I don't... Do I have that like powder still? Uh, well, I was going to get some of the like yellow powder so I can put it on top. Oh, wait, is it back? My internet just kind of died, so... All right, are we good? We seem to be good, but we don't have the powder left, I don't think. Yeah, I can't find it. It's okay. I was going to put it on top again of these things, but something I'll do later. I have to make more. But very cool. So we have the third tier altar. There's one more after this uh, and lots of new things unlocked as well. We need to make a bunch more constellation papers too though. So I probably just, I may go mine some aquamarine again off camera so we can use that, you know, to make the paper and stuff. But uh, yeah, should be fine for now. And well, I guess I have more to build now, <laughs> more areas to build. All, all of our astro sorcery stuff up here. Probably have a little area where we can collect starlight and also automate this a little bit with fluid hoppers, you know. Um, and later on, when once we get the immersive engineering tanks, we can just store this stuff in there as well. Should look pretty cool. And then probably have like a pass go this way later where we have some of the other stuff uh, built as well. And maybe I'll start on a tunnel underneath the tree. I think I kind of like that idea. It might look neat. And it might be the same height if we go through here. Hmm. But yeah, lots of building. That's always, that's a little bit of the issue also with the episodes taking longer now, just because there's so many little buildings I have to make now and work on. And, you know, it just consumes a lot of time. So we may, you know, have delays in between or we just may not do the buildings once in a while. Or maybe, I don't know, should we do a building episode? Would that be interesting enough? I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye.